Hey guys, Jerry here and welcome to episode 3 of Pokemon Dark Violet. And I know before you guys begin to crucify me, I am aware that this hasn't been updated in forever. I don't know why, I don't have an excuse or a reason as to why this never got continued. I just never got around to it. So hopefully you guys have it in your heart to forgive me. I apologize for not updating you guys with any episodes of Dark Violet. But I will try my best to make this a more frequent thing. So I may upload either two to three episodes of Dark Violet a week. If you guys like that idea, make sure to leave a like down below. And uh, yeah, without any further ado, let's get on with today's episode. Now, I don't recall what we did exactly in the last episode. But our party here, Poseidon the Squirtle, level 7, not bad. Oh wait, actually I think in the last episode we went to Viridian and got Professor Oak's parcel and we also delivered it to him. So in this episode... I think we're going to go and explore Viridian City a little bit more and we're also going to catch our first party member. But we have Daisy here, which I believe is Gary's sister. I've got to leave town as well, but since my grandfather was kind enough to give you guys a Pokemon each, I've decided to have a present for you too. And she's nice enough to give us a town map. And TM27, which I believe is a TM for return. And the running shoes. Daisy is very nice. Do you not know how to use the running shoes? They came with instructions. Press the beat button while wearing these running shoes to run extra fast. Slip on these running shoes and race in the great outdoors. Why am I leaving? I have some business to take care of, but I'm afraid I can't tell you just yet. I want it to be a surprise. And she'll definitely be seeing us later. Well, I'll be looking forward to seeing you because if you're going to give me freebies, then I'm all for it. Here we are, interrupted by a Pidgey. Sorry Pidgey, I don't have the time to deal with you. Oh wow, these running shoes are very very quick. Makes this a lot more faster. A lot more fast, faster? I don't know, I have terrible grammar. Yeah, I have terrible grammar but I'm a grammar Nazi so I think that's, that just contradicts the whole grammar Nazi thing. If you guys want me to leave these random battles in the video, uh, leave a comment down below because I know people like to see these and there are some of you that think this it's just time wasted So um If you guys want to see any random battles, just uh Leave it in the comment section below and if you don't care for them also leave it in the comment section below All right, here we are on our way to Viridian City because I did a terrible job in the last uh, video Exploring Viridian. Is there anything to the right? No, there is not. Uh oh, that doesn't look too good. We'll do with that. What the hell? Who the hell is this guy? All right, what's this? Just think of all the possibilities. You could get rich. You guys don't fool me one bit. None of you guys are rich. Only your bosses. That's why you low-level grunts never have strong Pokemon. You can keep your Pokemon if you join. Come on, dude, you're strong. Join us, or, or. Is that a threat? Whatever, guys. I'm calling the police. You're messing with an ace trainer here. I can take all you guys down. Wow. Hey you, do you know what Team Rocket is? We're an organization that researches Pokemon and finds out ways how, on how Pokemon can benefit us financially. It's exciting and fun. You should join us. Wait, you don't want to join? Ugh, I've had enough of this. It's no use. So this here's Team Rocket, huh? Nice to know they make an appearance so early on in the game. I really wouldn't be opposed to joining Team Rocket. I know I wouldn't be a grunt. I mean, I don't have a Rattata on my team. And one more tackle should do the trick. Rattata goes down. Ooh, okay, I think we will get to level 8 by the end of this battle, which is pretty nice. No one fucks with Poseidon the Squirtle, man. No one. Critical hit. Uh-oh. Um, I think it would be a good idea to heal. There we go. Another critical? This game is being very generous to Team Rocket. No critical? Okay, cool. And uh, down goes right at uh, level 8. Awesome, awesome. Check out that victory music though. 
It's very snazzy, I like it. Like, I was going to win with these crap Pokemon anyway. Crap Pokemon? Whoa there, this game is a child's game. Good job, allow me to hear your Pokemon. My name is Kamen, by the way. You made a smart choice not joining those guys. They're unbelievably weak and pathetic. When he said that Team Rocket finds out ways on how they use Pokemon to benefit them financially, he didn't tell you the details behind it. What they really do is sell or steal rare or strong Pokemon then sell them for huge amounts of money. Then they use the money to find cruel experiments on Pokemon. It's quite sickening. How do I know all of this? Never mind that. Team Rocket must be really desperate trying to recruit trainers that are already strong rather than strengthening their current members. They're just flat out pathetic. To change the subject, I noticed your Pokemon. You got it from Professor Oak, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I did. You must be one of three trainers from Pallet Town taking on the Pokemon League Challenge. Let's see how strong you are. Uh, nice to meet you too, buddy. I didn't really get a chance to formally introduce myself, but my name is Jerry, and I am from Pallet Town. Now, Nidoran is going to be a problem because I think that Nidoran has the ability Poison Point, and I really don't want my Squirtle to get poisoned. So I'm gonna use Tail Whip to lower its defense. I'm treating this like uh, I'm treating this battle like it's competitive when it's obviously not. There you go, critical hit. Now the game is being nice to me. Thank you, thank you, game. Level nine. And we defeat came in. Six hundred Poké dollars. Awesome. I hate Team Rocket. I'm going to destroy them once and for all. And if anyone gets in my way, I'm going to destroy them as well. Note to self, don't mess with that guy. I think it'll be smart to heal up our Pokemon. How weak is Squirtle? Not that weak. But, I mean, we're already here. We might as well heal up Squirtle. Now, this episode is going to be very, very uneventful. I'm going to explore Viridian City and I'm going to capture a team member. See this building? It's, aren't you the guy that was just attacked by Team Rocket? You don't have anything to say on the matter? Whatever. Who's this? A museum, but in order to get there you would have to take on the Winding Show in Viridian Forest. Which we will do in the next episode. Green Sounds. Did we talk to Green already? She's not even here. Oh, it's so great how you can run indoors. See, if I were playing regular Fire Red, I wouldn't be able to do that. So Chaos Rush, I have to applaud you again. I think there's an item up here, if I remember correctly. It's been a while since- oh, okay, no. There's an item here. A Silk Scarf. I believe increases the damage of normal moves. So that can be useful somehow. Route 22. There's a Pokemon on this route that I want and hopefully we encounter it soon. Here we have a Spearow, but it's not a Spearow. The Pokemon that I want is not a Spearow. Mankey's a decent Pokemon, but it's not Mankey. Alright, hopefully we encounter it in the next few encounters. There we go! Nidoran female! Level 5 too, so it's at a pretty high level actually. Which isn't bad at all. Yeah, Nidoran can take a few of those. And I know that Nidoran male is the more offensive of the two. I've just, ever since I was a kid, I've been attached to Nidoran female just because of the Pokemon that it evolves into. I'm a really big fan of Nidoran female's evolution lineup. Now don't get me wrong, I like Nidoran male's evolution lineup. I just think that Nidoran female's evolution lineup is a little better. Here we have Nidoran female's Pokedex description. Poison pin Pokemon. While it does not prefer to fight, even one drop of the poison, it's Oh, I'm sorry. Even one drop of the poison it secretes from barbs can be fatal. Secretes. Never heard that word before. 
Yes, I want to give a nickname to my Nidoran female. I am going to nickname my Nidoran Athena. Athena. And if you haven't realized it yet, there's a little theme going on with the Pokemon in my party here. Yes, I like Greek mythology very much. And let's heal up our Pokemon one more time, if I can get inside the Pokemon Center. Yes, I would like to heal my Pokemon. Alright, well, with a new party member added to our team, I think this is a pretty decent place to stop. So, if you guys enjoyed episode number 3 of Pokemon Dark Violet, make sure to leave a like down below. Let's aim for about 25 likes. If we reach 25 likes, then I'll work hard to get the next episode out to you guys as soon as possible. Anyways, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. My name has been Jerry. You guys have been awesome, and I'll see you next time.